So this is one of the strangest news conferences in recent memory. Mayor Kenner Mayor Ben Zahn, he called on the media this morning to play clips of secret recordings that he made during meetings with his political consultant. Now, Zahn accused the consultant and a parish councilman of trying to rig the upcoming Kenner elections in March. But eyewitness investigator David Hammer got the full recordings and they show something a lot more basic, that politics are as dirty as ever in Kenner. Kenner Mayor Ben Zahn heads into his re-election campaign under heavy fire from his handling of Hurricane Ida hazard pay to a reported FBI investigation into the awarding of a contract for garbage collection in Kenner. And has the FBI questioned you about Absolutely that? Absolutely not. Have they questioned any of your staff? Absolutely not. Have they requested documents or done any subpoenas to look I into that? Absolutely not. Zahn blames two people for his troubles. Jefferson Parish Councilman Dominic Impostato, a political ally who took over Zahn's council seat when he became mayor, and Zahn's longtime political consultant, Greg Busan. Zahn has been secretly recording Impostato and Busan for months. He called a news conference Thursday to say he's now turned those recordings over to the FBI. This looks like fraud to me. The people deserve the truth. Zahn played audio clips from a November meeting with Busan and Impostato. Zahn secretly recorded them, urging him to convince his friend, Councilman Mike Segur, to run for council at large instead of chief of police. What you hear in recording five, I'm sorry, is Councilman Impostato attempting to persuade me into conspiring with him and Greg Busan to help rig the chief of police election and the councilman at large election. I promise you, Ben, as sure as I know how to spell my last name, you look at me in the face and said, Mike, I can never be with you for chief. At large, it's a done deal. I promise you. you yeah, I think I what you will hear in this recording is Greg Busan outlining the consequences if I choose not to cooperate with their demands. You tell me right now you're supporting Mike Segor, then we're going to have Mike Glaze over it. Zahn called that last clip a quid pro quo, a threat that Busan and Impostato would get current police chief Mike Glazer to run against Zahn if the mayor kept supporting Segur to be the next police chief. But Busan says he was being taken out of context. So we asked the Zahn administration for the full unedited recording. Sure enough, the part Zahn played at the press conference leaves off what comes next. Tell me right now you're supporting Mike Segor? then we're going to have Mike Glaser on the race. And I understand that if, you, if that's where you want to be... Y'all going to have Mike Glaser on the race, or are we going to have to deal with Mike Glaser on the race? No, Glazer we're going to have to deal with Mike Glaser on okay. the race. All right. Busan and Impostato say the meeting was a political strategy session to try to help a flailing Zahn. But Zahn called it an attempted election rigging. But don't people have backroom deals all the time saying, hey, I'll run for this, you run for that, we'll support this guy, we'll support that guy? Hey, you're going to run for this, I'm going to run for that. That's fun. But the, you scratch my back, I scratch yours, that's a little bit beyond harsh trading. In a phone interview with Eyewitness News, Busan said, quote, it doesn't meet any standard of election rigging in any way, shape, or form if you say to someone, you shouldn't run for this seat because you're going to get beat. Giving them advice is not election rigging. That's now up to the FBI and to Kenner voters. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Buzon resigned from, resigned rather, from Zahn's campaign last month. Buzon said he's now working out a deal to represent Glasser against Zahn.